Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm finally giving you guys my Black Friday haul. And first off, before I even get into this, I just have to say that if you've watched my Vlogmas vlogs up until this point, I've been very sick. I don't know what the hell it is, if it's the flu, if it's just a cold, because I did have a fever and now I don't. My voice is all messed up. I have a really bad cough, so I'm trying to keep it pretty low key so I don't start coughing because I did try to film this yesterday and it wasn't happening because I just kept coughing. As we speak, I'm trying to export a Vlogmas vlog right now <laughs> while I'm filming so that's fun if you guys would like to see what I got for Black Friday then keep watching and let's just get right into this and also my appearance is very I'm sick okay I have no makeup on my hair is in a I slicked my hair back today in a neon pink scrunchie I'm just this is it this is what you're getting today the first things I ended up getting are from Amazon I, I basically got from got from what? I basically shopped from Amazon, Target, Ulta, and Sephora Inside Kohl's, which if you've, again, watched my previous vlogs, you already know how I feel about buying from them online. I will never do it again but that's another story. This just, this goes back to the footage that ended up not going on to my new phone. When I transferred everything from my birthday vlog that I wanted to post for you guys, I went to TJ Maxx and I also ordered some stuff from Ulta, including the Ariana Grande Vault Fragrance Collection, and one of the fragrance in there was Moonlight, which I low-key feel like Moonlight, oh my god, did you hear that? It's trying to come through, it's trying. I low-key feel like Moonlight is a very underrated fragrance. I can also understand why, oh, oh hello, it's trying to come out but I can also understand why not a lot of people like it because it does fade very fast against my better judgment. I've been using the small one the last like few days since I got it and I love it. Last few weeks I should say. I ended up getting the big size actually off of Amazon because it was only $38 for the giant size which is 3.4 fluid ounces. What I call a deal and I just love the packaging. It looks just like her Thank You Next 2.0 with like the holographic on the bottle. Very cute. One of the only few perfumes I have from our that is full size too and I can't smell it I don't know who I was kidding at that moment you know thinking I could smell that because I can't smell anything right now I really love the packaging I think it smells great again I think now that I'm getting older I really like a lot more muskier a little bit light or just a light hint of sweetness I don't want it to be fully but again I still like my candy scents I don't know I think I've just my nose is just like adapting as I've gotten older I really like cloud and I never liked cloud like years ago I don't know it's kind of the same with my mom too she used to be obsessed with cloud now she loves God is a woman. A couple of things I showed you guys in my Vlogmas Day 1 vlog where I unboxed these in my car. I ended up getting this multifunction anti-slip silicone card holder for my car to put my phone in to vlog for you guys. And I feel like the ones I had were not sufficient, not doing it, and I wasn't using them. So I decided to try something a little bit more minimal. And it does hold my phone in place, but we'll see when I drive how well that holds up. I get this cute little pink card holder, which I will try to put a picture of it right here. It literally looks like the YSL card holder and on the back it has like a little heart engraved in it which is so cute and it's just light pink so I am giving away basically almost all of my old iPhone 11 Pro Max cases on my what's on my iPhone video if you haven't seen that I'll try to put a card up here obviously your girl is trying to rebuild her iPhone case collection I repurchased this one obviously I love Hello Kitty she's a cute cartoon case this would be a case that I would use like for like a day or a weekend or something definitely not like during the week because this could not fit in my pocket there's no way but I absolutely love it is super cute. I'm just put off of how big the camera hole has gotten since I've bought a couple of these cases as you guys my OG subbies know like I've had a few of these cases and like just how big the camera hole has gotten over the years is like terrifying. I don't know about you but like I did end up getting the phone case that was on my birthday and Christmas wish list in that video. Again I'll put the card up here if I can remember. If I remember I did get the neon pink. Wow that looks like coral on camera. It's so bright but it's so pretty. So I ended up getting that for my new phone for when I want to change it out. I think this is definitely like the new style. Like I see so many people have just cases like this that look like the Apple Store silicone cases too. Let's face it, I think this was only $14 and the Apple Store ones from Apple are like 50 bucks. Like absolutely not. I think I did that one time when I had my iPhone 7 Plus. Ever again. Never again. We can get cheaper alternatives off of Amazon. Things are from Ulta. Obviously they were having a sale so I caved and this was before all the Balenciaga Siaga so I don't want anyone coming for me in, co in the comments being like, oh my gosh, how could you still support them? This was before that. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have purchased it. So chill the f 
out. Thanks. All this stuff together was $30 or like $35 with shipping. Hells yeah, Black Friday deals. I ended up repurchasing the MAC Honey Love lipstick that I've had before. I had to throw away my other one because it was expired. But that is just what it looks like. It just brings me back to Tana Mojo 2016 vibes. Benefit mascaras are some of my favorite high-end mascaras. So I ended up getting the Roller Lash because it was on sale for like 10 bucks. I got a couple of Kylie things. I have loved her bronzers in the past and I do like the reformulation of her cosmetics. Bronzer in Toasty. There's a little insert. So cute. But it looks like it's probably a little bit too dark for me right now. I don't know. I was like, oh, let's get a different shade this time. But let's not get Tawny Mommy because that was way too dark. And let, let's not get Tequila Tan. Should have got Tequila Tan because that was perfect. I don't know. I'm just rambling also because I'm sick. And then I also ended up getting one of her plumping glosses in the shade Curve Him. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. I don't like the packaging of these glosses though. <laughs> the plumping ones. I don't know. Maybe I'm just bitter and I miss her old formulation of stuff as I've said so many times. But that is what the color looks like. It's this pretty brown color and it has little shimmers in there. I think each item was like around 10 bucks or a little less than that which is not bad. I have a whole story with this so I'm just gonna be as brief as I can because your girl's trying to conserve her energy and not cough and also it's just I've already said it. Last few times I've ordered Sephora Inside Kohl's on the Kohl's website something has happened. This time I only ordered three items because I ended up getting a gift card for my aunt-in-law for my birthday and it worked out because Sephora is in Kohl's now so I was like all right well that works out for me. However however they split my order which was three items okay into two parcels I got one of them. The other one was sent back holes because apparently my address is unknown or undeliverable, which I mean clearly everything that I'm showing you guys I bought online. So my address is not undeliverable. I either think it's just, you know, it's the holiday season or whoever's delivering just didn't feel like doing it. All understandable by by all the all means. Like understandable. I totally get it. I do. If you don't want to deliver it, give it to someone else to do it or like send it to the store I'll go get it myself I don't mind I just don't understand the holidays are always a weird time shipping providers and stuff like that I appreciate everyone that's ever like delivered stuff to me every company ever sh every shipper I've so appreciative for it. I just am like, huh? Like it just doesn't register in my brain, but maybe that's just me. The only thing that I got, and I better be getting refunded for those two items. We'll see. I'll keep you guys updated Vlogmas. I got the By Mario. I think that's the name of his brand or is it called Mario? Oh, Makeup By Mario. Pink Nude Makeup By Mario Lip Kit in Ultra Suede Lipstick and Sam, ironically enough. Did not know that was the name of it. The lip pencil in Hue, so that's what that looks like right there. I'm excited to try it. We'll see how it goes. I've just been wanting to try some his line some of his stuff I've heard it's been really good so we shall see so I originally was not gonna shop on pink but I did and everything I bought ironically was pink I ended up getting another one of these fuzzy jackets that I got last year in pink I'm sorry why not like look how neon and pretty it is I'm just really hoping I don't have my dilemma of it just fading after one wash but that's why I've been watching all of like my pink stuff that's like this bright color and this bright color separately so that the dye will just go away <laughs> <laughs> on its own just soak it in its own little bucket hope for the best and then I got this uh, sports bra which you guys know I wear this as a crop top I don't give a f I really loved it because it was pink and stars and it reminded me of this purse Alba and I used to have in high school together a purse that we had together in high school and it's so cute and just oh my gosh and hopefully this will give me some motivation to start working out I really want to try Pilates we'll see I haven't worked out in a really long time last thing I got was a pair of joggers I don't know exactly what these are supposed to be called like their proper name it's just this neon pink I got them in a size large it says pink on the leg but uh I decided to get a large this time only because I've gotten a pair of these pants before in an extra large which is fine they fit me fine but they're just a little bit baggy on me but they fit around the waist it's a complicated thing, so I'm going to see how these go, and if they don't fit, then I'll just return them. Back to the last few things that I did get off of Amazon were a few clothing items. Yes, I know. I know. I'm already hearing it. I know. No more clothes. I know. I have no excuse. This has been some things that I've been wanting, and I think I'm actually going to return a couple things. So. A pair of these boots, just basically for work, because I don't really have any, like, nice boots that I want to wear to wear, to be honest with you guys, besides Uggs, because you guys, when I was a toddler teacher, I literally would just wear, like, my work shirt and sweat shirt and leggings and Uggs and call it a day and I just didn't give up.
basically. Neither did any of the girls, and no one really cared anyway. Now that I'm a para, like, I care a little more, and I want some boots that I can wear with a lot of outfits and look nice, so I got these nude ones. Hopefully, they are match made in heaven, otherwise I'm gonna be sad. A couple of these long sleeve crop tops, just because I haven't had long sleeve crop tops in a while, and I just wanted them to wear, like, when I'm off of work, when I'm at home, you get what I mean, so I got this white one. Hopefully, this one's not too see-through, and then I got a black one. They came together in a little set which I thought was cute so I'll try to link everything in my Amazon storefront that I got from this haul and the last couple things again I'm trying to replicate skims fleece collection however I think I'm failing I got a pair of sweatpants gray sweatpants without realizing that I already have gray sweatpants why am I buying these are definitely gonna go back because they actually don't look like they're sweatpants. They actually look like they're like PJ pants, like up close. I don't know. You know when you look at a clothing item, you could tell if it's gonna be like nice thick quality or if it's gonna be thin. This, these actually look thin. So, got a pair of gray sweatpants that are gonna go back. Men's gray crew neck sweatshirt, just so I could like pair it with, again, with my gray sweatpants that I already have. Make it a look if you know what I mean. And I don't have any gray crew neck sweatshirts. I just have black and a whole bunch of them that have different designs on them. So, I just got a gray one. I I think that's actually really funny that I like crew neck sweatshirts now because growing up my mom always used to wear champion crew neck sweatshirts all the time with me growing up when I was a baby and stuff like that like that was the thing of course champion is like a whole different thing now like it means that like cool which back then it wasn't which is just I don't know I think it's funny I think it comes full circle but anyway that was my Black Friday haul I hope you guys enjoyed this video I do have some things coming from Shein and no it's not what you think I ordered phone cases and some accessories but I think I'll just show you guys that in my haul I know I got some phone cases though because again we're trying to build the collection again even though I wasn't going to I don't know but then again we'll see how the items come when they get here because you guys know half the time if I order from Shein half the stuff comes damaged or comes awful and I just return it anyway I love you guys so much hope you have an awesome day subscribe if you want to see more of me like this video if you enjoyed turn on bell post notifications you'll know when the f I post a new video and again I apologize for my voice I apologize for my low energy and if this video seems off or whatever I just really want to get better feel like that's not really gonna happen as soon as I think it's going to I basically feel just like last December before Christmas when I was really really sick but still going to work every day because god forbid I stayed home <laughs> gonna power through and get better take all the vitamin C I'm gonna start taking bloom and hopefully that does something but I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video